Here's the dirty truth. All couples fight, but some couples can't seem to stop fighting. If this sounds like you, you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to break that endless cycle of fighting in your relationship so you can finally have a productive conversation again. Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm a licensed therapist and I'm a marriage expert. I have helped countless couples fix their broken relationships. And today in this video, I want to share some of my best tips with you. But first, a quick disclaimer. While I'm a licensed therapist, I am not your therapist. And this video is for educational purposes only. So let's get down to it. Here's the problem. All couples know how to fight, but very few couples actually know how to communicate and solve problems. Today, I'm going to teach you my top five tips to stop fighting and start communicating. Tip number one, reset your mindset. Remember, that your partner is someone you love. They're not your enemy, even when you're in a disagreement. So even when you're having an argument, you don't need to think of this as a win-lose situation. If you do, you're going to be caught in this constant tug of war over who's right and who's wrong. Instead, I want you to think of every conflict, every disagreement, every argument as a way to connect. Remember, this is your opportunity to get to learn your partner better and to learn how to make them happy in your relationship. So start thinking about your disagreements that way and stop thinking about them as a way to win and lose. Tip number two, slow down, take a deep breath, and listen. So many times when we are arguing with your partners, we are so busy proving a point, talking about why we're right and why they're wrong, that we don't actually stop to hear them out. This is my tip for you. Stop, take a deep breath, and actually listen to what your partner has to say. You might be surprised that your disagreements aren't as big as you think they are, and you'll also have a chance to understand more about where they're coming from. And remember, when you stop and listen to your partner, they're going to feel safe and comfortable stopping and listening to you. You can't get heard until you start to listen. Tip number three, talk about your feelings and don't get lost in details. It is really, really important when you're having a disagreement with your partner that you slow down and you talk about your feelings. And when I say feelings, I mean emotions. Talk about how you're feeling sad, disappointed, frustrated, hurt. Talk about those emotions that are driving this issue and that are driving the argument. Don't get bogged down in logic and details. If you are fighting with your partner, this is not about logic. This is about emotion. So stop and pay attention to that. And remember, when you can actually hear your partner's emotions, you're going to be able to make progress and communicate. Tip number four, talk about what you want, not what you don't want. Here's what I mean with this tip. It is really, really important that you avoid criticizing your partner. Because if you start criticizing your partner, talking about your partner and what they're doing wrong, they're going to get defensive and they're not going to be able to hear you. I want to get you heard. In order to get heard, you need to start talking about what you want and not what you don't want. So that means you need to tell your partner what you want from them. You need to tell them what you want, how they can make you happy, how they can make things right. Do that instead of focusing on what they did wrong and your partner's going to start listening to you instead. Tip number five, find common ground. And this is the absolute most important tip I'm going to share with you today. It is critical that when you're arguing with your partner, when you're having a disagreement, when you're fighting, that you slow down and find common ground. Find at least one thing that your partner is saying that you can validate. Now remember, validating doesn't mean you agree. All it means is that you're saying, hey, honey, I can see where you're coming from. You made a good point. I can understand your point of view. Too many times couples get stuck and trapped in this endless cycle of trying to prove who's right and prove who's wrong. So they focus on what they disagree about and they get back and forth. I don't know if you've ever had this silly, stupid disagreement with your partner over something ridiculous. If you've ever had one of those, that's a good sign that you have been stuck in a tug of war and stuck in a back and forth about your disagreements. Stop. 
and focus on what you agree on and start there. So that's my final tip and my most important one. Look for areas of agreement. Stop focusing so much on what you disagree on instead. I want you to flip that on its head. If you want to stop fighting and start communicating, seek common ground. And this is the key to actually start solving problems. When you can find the things that you agree on with your partner, you have room to solve problems and you have room to make progress. So let's recap. Here are my top five tips to break the endless cycle of fighting in your relationship. Tip number one, reset your mindset. Stop thinking of your partner as the enemy and start thinking about them as someone you love. Tip number two, slow down, take a deep breath, and listen. Tip number three, talk about your feelings and stop getting lost in stupid details that don't matter. Tip number four, talk about what you want, not what you don't want. Make sure your partner understands what you need from them and don't focus on the things that they have done wrong in the past. Tip number five, find common ground. Find at least one thing that your partner is saying that you can validate. Remember, you don't have to be trapped in this endless cycle of fighting in your relationship. You just have to change up how you communicate. Thanks for watching my video on how to bust the endless cycle of fighting in your relationship and start communicating again. If you like this video, don't forget to follow and subscribe. I'm going to be sharing my best tips and tricks for repairing and reconnecting in your relationship right here with you. I'll see you soon.